Restore the economy to what it was before this happened. Oh God, restore our American way of life. And we know, Father, that you're capable of that. And, and we believe that you have the ability and power to answer those prayers in your time and in your way. But Father, if we have a kingdom mindset, then what we really want to see happen in these days, when we've had to pull back from public life, when we have time to get reacquainted with one another in our own households, when we can't, when we've been slowed down from the busyness of life and you have a greater opportunity because we don't have all these distractions now to get our attention, to help us understand who you are, who the Messiah really is. So that who we're expecting is not someone to bail us out, but someone to save our souls, someone to forgive our sins, someone to set us free, someone to give us eternal life. That, Lord Jesus, was your mission. And we don't want to miss it. I pray that there are, if there are any today watching this message who know that they've been expecting the wrong person, that they would realize who Jesus is and why he came to die on a cross, shed his blood, cleanse their sin, be buried, but be raised again to life so that we too could experience eternal life and that they would believe in the name of Jesus and all that he is and all that he's done for them and be saved. And for others of us, Lord God, who I pray will have a kingdom mindset that our ultimate goal in all this time will be to look for opportunities to share the mystery of the gospel with hurting, frightened people living in such uncertain times. God, help us to have open eyes and open ears and to be willing to be the mouth and the hands and the feet of Jesus. And we ask these things in his name. Amen. Thank you again for watching. May God bless you. Stay safe and stay connected.